Good afternoon, my friends. 2nd of December, 2022. Friday afternoon, 2.42 p.m. As you can see, I'm here at the property. Lady Jazz, uh, Nye Jocelyn, and little EJ, and little bits inside. Sabrina's still in school, so Brother JC's staying home to go pick her up. So just come here for a short, quick update. They're putting the wraps on the skim coat back here. I need to do a little bit in the front up there still. And then on the side by the CR, I'm gonna walk back that way. I've already walked around taking a few still pictures. So today is day six of the final seven days. Tomorrow being the seventh day, obviously. After that, tomorrow afternoon, the toilet crew is heading home. We have other work lined up the next week, carrying them through the holidays, which is good. I'm glad. And then uh, I'm not sure about James, what he's got lined up here local. Um, Jay, I'm going to keep Jay because he's family here and help him out. And, and some other ways too, trying to get him set up to maybe start his own business doing something here local, small, just to keep him going. Uh, so, the house is white, skim coated. Uh, once we get the bamboo comes down, like I said, I'm not sure if I'm gonna take it down right away or depending on how much the external house paint costs and I'll just keep Brother Jay and it'll be a slow process. He'll be a one man crew. I don't think I can afford two men right now. So we'll see. If not, maybe just for a short term. It depends on how long they think they can paint the house. It's gonna take a couple of coats, I'm sure. So you can see right here where the skim coat needs to be done. Brother Jay's still working on the spiral staircase. And there's plenty of work for keep Jay employed for a while. As long as my money comes through. I've uh, put in my application for my Social Security. I'm going to claim it at 62. It's just too much money gone if I wait till I'm 67 or 72. That money that I'll be collecting monthly will just, it won't be there. And I'll be like 80 years old before it breaks even, you know. So, I'm going to claim it sooner than later. Other regions too that I won't get into, but we'll see. I'm debating now whether to keep these cement columns or not. Because once we put the fiberglass up, it might look kind of funky with two cement columns on each end. But we'll see. And if, if not, we'll just take it down and put the fiberglass columns there when we do. When it comes to that point, uh, there's Nia Jocelyn sweeping in the house while she's talking on the phone. Um, we'll probably smooth this section out here that's not painted along the side and maybe use it maybe a trim it or something I'm not sure we'll, I'll cover that with Lady Jazz during the home improvement pro project and uh, we'll video that so instead of home build Philippines it'll become home improvement Philippines uh, and we'll go from there as well as some other things we may have lined up that once we get free of the major housing project, uh, maybe we can just 
get out and try some different things and stuff with the channel. We'll see, no promises, but uh, as you can see, there's a lot left to be done, a lot left pending. That must be for some wiring, I'll clarify that. Obviously the drains and stuff, but the water just kind of falling down like that a little bit. My colleagues will probably extend that pipe down somewhere or another neatly. Uh, just things to make the house more presentable. I want to give it the eye test, you know, uh, as well as the landscaping of the yard and everything. I'll be more involved with that because uh, Nelson here is uh, laying the grout in, looks like. So, trying to think of anything. Corey Mike, uh, he's working elsewhere, got to have the money coming in. Um, still owes me a day of labor, but you know, I need to let him support his family first. Uh, now, time will come in the future. So I had Brother Jay trim out the front so I could see when we pull out down there. Uh, so Michael did show up surprisingly yesterday, right after I said that on the video, not long after. You know, we were actually on the way home when they called and said they were coming. So what's going to happen, I'm trying to keep my finger out of the video this time. So what's going to happen is... Uh, the PODT guy was here, as I mentioned in the video yesterday, so we need five poles for that. So it's going to be taking about five poles. Well, we need, uh, so I'm basically, I'm going to share the line on those poles. I'm going to have, uh, Brother Jay, I'm going to have like a hook at the top of the pole for the electrical wire. And then certain, so many feet down, I'm going to have another hook that's going to hold the PODT wire that comes out. So I'm going to run them here out there the five poles from the highway all out space them out sufficiently here it may be more than five and then we're going to connect to the back electricity bring it to the back of the home and stuff rather neatly i want to i want to i want it looking nice and neatly i don't want it to as i've seen in so many other places just wires everywhere so uh so we're going to do that i just need to wait for so i got some money coming in next week you know the international transfer so you gotta wait for that process to go in effect and then uh we'll start uh, we'll get the PODT in here get the electrical thing done the electric thing's not going to cost me anything other than the poles um and maybe some merienda we still need to get some more varnish to finish the kubo as you can see it's half varnish to the left and the other half not looks much better with the varnish on it now we're going to keep make that an upkeep problem and eventually when we do the extension, so those wires, that's probably eventually going to go away here, which is good. This is going to be put up a, not, a lot neater, so I'll probably have some better wire eventually going straight across. And then we're going to line it up where it looks a lot neater eventually until it gets to the Kubo. We still want to keep electrical to the Kubo. Uh, electricity there. We have our own submeter, I think they call it. So we got that going. And I'll find a better place to put some of this leftover materials more neatly after we uh, disperse of the debris. Looks like James is carrying a lot of the debris over there uh, while everybody else is working. Uh, then we'll clean up that area and maybe find some old pieces and put, fix the roof just temporarily so I can put the scooter in it. And, the, and my tricycle over there, it'll come over here. Of course, Brother Jay's free to use it as, as needed. Nelson, come inside. So, I'm gonna give Brother Jay uh, money for their last uh, case of Red Horse for today. And uh, we'll go from there. Alrighty, uh, let me go inside and see if there's anything new. This is our hideout while we're here with the fan. It's Sabrina's room. Bed to sit on up. A nap a little bit. This lady Jazz was a little bit there. I think he's knocked out. He might be making another tip shot knowing her. So here's what we do. We just chill out here until something happens. We we'll need it or we we'll go elsewhere. Okay. You can hear the noise in the background. I think that's Brother Jay working on the final staircase. Doing something over there in the field. 
I get the rice field from here. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know what that's called. So he out there probably further in the video than it is to me. There's some other guy who's moving his cows. We got some tile work to finish here. Maybe Brother Jay will finish it once he's done. Let's work here. I don't know. They only have the rest of today, which is two more hours, and then tomorrow. There's the other skim coat that's done, as well as the other side. So, you know, we got lots of things to do. It's it's not a completed project by any means, as you can see through the video. Again, I, you know, just money. Ran out of money, short of money. Uh, originally, we could have done it. Uh, it's an old story. Old story. But anyway, it's going to be finished soon enough. So we're just going to wait till we get the electricity finalized, attached legally, correctly, get the PLDT internet installed upstairs, and then uh, then the next step will be to call up the AC folks and have them come move the two ACs here. Um, eventually I want to get an electrician in here and have them put in another AC outlet down below in the living room area, which is below here. They were supposed to be put two, but somehow the communications didn't make it. They only put one AC thing over there, and you got one, two, three, that long area. It's just that one AC is not going to be able to handle it. I'm not looking for it to be like polar bear weather, but I want it to be comfortable so I can sit downstairs in my living room or at the dining table and eat comfortably and be, you know, not sweating throughout the humidity here. Um, I say so myself, folks. This is a beautiful property. I just got to get it cleaned up, get everything cleaned up, get this grass mowed down and everything and get our walls going, but that's home improvement stuff, you know, just gotta fix it, it looks nice. Uh, I'm gonna enjoy sitting up here. Gotta get some cover up here, some, well, obviously this first. But then we might get some temporary stuff up here to put and kind of anchor it some way, just, you know, to keep the sun off of us. Like now, it's, it's, it's a cool day. It's not hot, the wind's blowing, as you can see. Uh, it's not humid right now. It was this early December weather. It's just, it's a beautiful day. I can sit out here if I had some shade going. You know, comfortable. Have a beverage, iced tea, iced water, iced coke, cold cerveza. You know, cool glass of wine if I want that sometimes. You know, and just enjoy the view, enjoy life. Um, just trying to think what I'm looking here. Like I say, I don't script my videos. Obviously, I don't uh, choreograph them. Obviously. <laughs> I just uh, shoot it. This is real life. This is, you know, we don't do that with real life, right? Uh, so, it's interesting. I'm looking forward to getting settled here. When that may be, I'm not sure. Hopefully by sometime this month, yes. Again, electricity depends on that and uh, internet and getting the AC over here. I do want the AC. I'm going to be able to step in my house when I get too warm. Uh, I, I'm contemplating buying a, a, a third one. I'll have one up here and then two or three downstairs and just keep them on low setting just in case. Most of the family uh, prefers not the AC. Just me. And actually, Lady Jazz has gotten accustomed to it, so she'll complain before I do about the heat and the weather. Hello, young man. So. That's what we're doing here, and uh, we'll keep you guys posted and informed, and eventually be able to free up ourselves to get out and about and look around. There's other YouTubers that's showing the places, but every person's perspective is unique and different. And we'll get out eventually and see that, as well as continue our home improvement, land improvement, and whatnot. Shout out to Pooch and his uh, lovely wife, Christina friends that I was uh, lived in next to in uh, Tennessee. They're out here visiting their daughter, Tina, my good friend Capone. So I saw them the other day at the Fry. We did. And we're supposed to go out for an evening Saturday, I believe, at a local place here in San Antonio. So anyway, um, it's always good to see people. 
old friends, new friends. All right, folks, if anything changes, I'll certainly update you. Morning, 3 December 2022, Saturday morning, 10.35 a.m. This is it. Uh, the fellas are doing a half day today, so they're probably going to work till about 11. Another 25 more minutes and get cleaned up and head out, so I'm going to bring them their week's wage and get their contact info because we're going to give them a little bonus, but not until next week to get the funds coming in, so just give them a little something to carry them through the holidays while they're working as well um, Jay and uh, James James who's in front of me right now working the porch and Jay brother Jay they're gonna finish out the day today's work and then uh, it'll be just brother Jay from here on out James will be finding other works in other places and stuff <clears throat> right now looks like he's cleaning the grout <clears throat> that was placed in there James is uh -oh. It's looking good. It looks good with the uh, skim coat on it, the white skim coat. Um, well, Jay's got the primer going on the railings. That's the primer. Assuming he's going to follow up with the spiral staircase. And get around here. So walk around. Morning, morning, morning. Gentlemen, gentlemen, gentlemen. Hello. Everybody's up. The last video. We bought and Corey Ferdinand finishing the skim coat. So I'm sure once we're done with that, then they'll get through the process of getting cleaned up and everything. That's the last of the skim coat. It's going to go there. Ooh, I can smell that primer from here. It's strong. <laughs> It's gonna look good once you get it sanded down and primed up. Okay, there we go. Looking good, gentlemen. Then we gotta wash up the where the skim coat's at. Eventually, when, once we get ready to, to paint, that'll be uh, still a ways away. We're still waiting uh, the electric and the PODT still. Nothing's changed with that since earlier video. I'm gonna tag yesterday's video. On to today's. Let's give you the back look here. Uh, that's pretty high up, so I had one of my subscribers suggest to get an extension ladder. Uh, it's not a bad idea. It's so high up back here, but I'm not sure it's going to get that high when it comes time to paint. 
If not, we'll just get some more bamboo if this is rotted out when it comes that time. So I'm not sure when the painting is going to happen. Uh, got some smoothing out, some other things to do uh, to beautify it. The, the build is done. Uh, there's still some electrical work to do, still some plumbing stuff to do, but we could we could move in once the electricity gets hooked up officially and we get uh, an AC installed. It's a nice day today. It's not hot. It's actually rather cool for the time of day. The sun's not out just yet, but well, it was earlier, but it's clouds and stuff morning. So anyway, I'll have Brother Jay go up and take down all that tape. Just want to show you guys, give you a bit of an update. This, uh, this short version is going to go on the other one, and then we'll, we'll see. Don't know when we're going to be, get out of the videos. we got to clean this up and put a little house around that hot water heater. Once we get it connected and all the appropriate stuff, there's Nelson over there. So, okay, that's pretty much it. We brought uh, Sabrina and EJ with us today. A uh, little bit, baby Sky. Stayed home with Nina. It's kind of, we figured it'd be kind of hot over here in JC. So they're at the house. We brought the kids over so they could run around and play with their cousins and stuff. Okay, so I'll go ahead and close this. Dad later for something to add. children playing at the Kubo. Oh, they're throwing dirt around. Yep, they're going to have to get washed up before they get in the truck. Mama's not going to like that. Ooh. Okay, look. Ta-da. Skim coated. They're working on the side. It's Corey Ferdinand over there. That's strong. <laughs> that primer is pretty strong stuff. Get high. Get high. Babe. I'm sad. The boys are leaving. So we're Ferdinand to the left. Rebar in the middle. Nelson to the right. Three guys, Tressa Miggles. Thank you, gentlemen. So we gave them their wages, uh, heading home, and uh, we told them we're going to be sending them their their bonus uh, next week, soon as my funds come in. So they're a great bunch of guys. It's kind of sad to see them go. A couple of photos. There's Lady J. She's she said. We got a lot of things to do, but it was good having them here. Corey Ferdinand and Nelson were here since the beginning. Rebar came in about halfway, maybe July or August, maybe got here. Rebar. Rebar would always have a remembrance of so he's got a little scar on his chest for his namesake. All right, gentlemen. God bless you. Fair winds and following seas.